Hello and welcome to the show. Yes, you did read that title correctly. I am going to go banger racing with a hearse because why on earth not? I've got some more mods for Wreckfest and yes, as soon as there is an option to go and crash a hearse. It seemed like an entertaining idea to me. I've got the UK Short Ovals mod installed along with a whole bunch of uh, banger racing, uh, proper banger racing cars. So that is what we are going to uh, to try out. We're going to, there's a whole a whole selection of these to, uh, to go through. We're going to start at uh, Ringwood. We're going to go for 10 laps. The laps are very, very short. However, you're likely to get stuck in a lot of crashes. So who knows how long this race might last. So I uh, find myself a relatively uh, decent spot on the uh, on the grid. We'll see how long that uh, that can last for. Uh, there will be a, a large number of these uh, these bang proper banger cars in this field. Although there is the odd sort of standard wreckfest car involved in the mix as well. So far, I'm actually quite impressed with the hearse's performance. Uh, oh, that's not quite worked how I had hoped it would. I don't know what happens if I go in the infield. I suspect I won't get my laps counted. No, get off that, get off that. Uh, I was trying to ping the AI car off the wall, and it didn't really work. We sort of all got stuck. Oh, there's been a big shunt already. I'm going to crash into the side. I think that was... Oh, that's an estate car. Not quite a, not quite the full-on hearse. <laughs> when there is a car parked sideways across the track, that is far too tempting an opportunity on this game. I'm in second place at the moment, but I can see the leader up ahead. Lapped down traffic is going to play a part in this I feel whoopsie daisy where are we going we're going for a little bit of a, a little bit of a wonder right there that looks like a muscle car of sorts that is uh, leading the way there's another hearse to crash into come here hearse oh we've, <laughs> we've taken out the back of it <laughs> that's quite that's quite um that's quite impressive damage actually oh that's an estate car that's taken a massive knock it is still the estate car still going I want to take more bits off of that white hearse I, I want to take more bits off of that. In fact, if we can get him to go and take chunks out of the leader, that would be okay by me. Can we, like, collapse the entire back of the car? Uh, oh, that's... I changed down a gear, but I didn't mean to. No, come back! Come back! Come back! I want to do more damage to you. See what happens. Uh, I don't know if we've collapsed the rear of that anymore or not. Uh, everyone is kind of not getting stuck too much. I did do a couple of a couple of test races just to make sure that you know that the mod worked and so on. And oh, I actually just noticed there's a big old gouge out the side of my car. Um, I did notice there a couple of times where these cars just got sort of stuck on the uh, on the armco and had issues. But uh, we haven't had any of that problem yet. Although having said that, I might now be about to cause it. I forgot it's not a clever idea to try and body slam cars into the wall on here. They tend to ping off and spin you out more than anything else. So yeah, that's a thing that happens. A little bit of a wonky hitbox between those two. Right, second place. I am wanting that off you, so we're going to sort of dive past. Yes, we've caused carnage! Carnage has been managed! Um, and that one there was completely my fault. Uh, oh, no, wait, hold on, hold on. Grab a reverse, grab a reverse, because there's the leader. <laughs> it's a big mess. We're trying to get through this gap, but I'm probably not helping matters. No, I don't know if I if the game will allow me to go around the infield. Go forwards! Go forwards! There we go. There's a gap there. We're going to make it through that. We are going to make it through that. I mean, the rear of my vehicle is not really held on very well. Oh, I've been forced into the wall. Ha <laughs> ha! He spun himself round. I will take that. Quickly run away now at the front. There's, yeah, if you look at the rear, the sort of the rear quarter paddle, well, I say rear quarter paddles, there's nothing left of them. Hey, I mean, that was too good an opportunity. I think someone's got a glitch texture going on with one of those cars, Pates, but, um, yeah, ooh, our handling is, I think I might have bent a wheel somewhere and not really surprising. Let's be honest, we're still in the lead by miles. The back of my car looks like it will fall apart completely at any moment. Any moment now. Nothing is looking particularly healthy and there is a lot of broken bits at this start-finish line area. Um, we're just going to kind of go around. <laughs> yeah, I caused that pile up. It was going also well. Oh, someone's almost rolled. That's, that, that, that is, um, I've got plenty of time so I can play around with AI cars. There's not much car left in that. Hey, it's over. <laughs> Took very little encouragement from me. Can I roll off? Oh, I couldn't quite do it. I'd seen those little kind of barriers at the end of the, um, sort of ramps at the start of the crash barrier, end of the crash barrier, and I felt like I had to give it at least a try to roll off of them. I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Oh, there's a podium there. Um, ah, have I missed the, I might have missed the checkpoint. Hold on. We shall rectify this. Somewhere there is a, um, 
There we go. Cross the finish line in reverse. <laughs> A big pile up that has been caused by me. It is a victory for the hearse. For the first? For the hearse. There we go. I can English. Oh, there was a, it did look like a muscle car because it was an Impala. That would, um, it's kind of a shame to have a 68 Impala in a banger race, but never mind. That was entertaining. That was most entertaining. Now, you see, there is a whole range of different cars to use with this. We've got a Cadillac 60 Special, the Impala, a Jaguar XJ, a Lexus LS400, a Mercedes-Benz. There's a whole bunch of Fords, mostly Granadas. Uh, there's there's a couple of different uh, Mark I Coupes. There's the Hearst, there's a Saloon, there's an Estate, the Mark II. There's the hideous Ford Scorpio. Uh, thankfully, they've not got the hideous front bumper on it, so that's okay. Um... Yeah, there's a saloon and estate version of that. There's a Volvo! That's a little bit cheating, though. If you have a Volvo, we all know Volvos are indestructible. So it's a little bit cheating having a Volvo for a banger race. However, I am going to cheat, and we are going to use a Volvo for a, <laughs> for a banger race. There's also a whole range of different paints for these cars. Actually, it's absolutely stacks. I have no idea if these are based on actual uh, banger racing cars that have gone around in in races or so on they suddenly look the part that much is uh, for sure we'll we'll go, we'll go with it like an almost all black one um that was that was ringwood where shall we go next shall we go sheffield i've heard of sheffield before having a banger circuit i mean i've heard of the city before but i've heard that there is a short oval circuit there so that's where we shall go next now having claimed a victory in my first ever banger race I am hoping we can continue to do well as we head into this next. Can we spot my Volvo? It's not at the front. It's not my my old hearse is there at the front. Uh, oh, we are a long. Okay, so we've got a lot of work, a lot of a lot of fields to try and and get through. But I have a tank, which is the perfect vehicle for this. No, that's not a good start. Already, already there's been a problem. Already there's been a big problem, and we're going to be plummeted. Well, I say we're not. We're not going to be plummeted. We're talking about a makeup any ground whatsoever. Ooh, a little bit, little bit slidey around there. <laughs> that fence on the outside does seem to be quite vicious to, uh, to these cars. As tempting as it is to just plough straight into... Oh, somebody's up on this side. Ooh, I've been put round. Uh-oh. We're going to have to kind of punch through that gap as best we can. We have made it out the other side in one piece. So tempting is to crash into everything you see. If we do, we're never going to be able to make progress towards the front. Not necessarily, anyway. Some, someone's lost a lot of bodywork over there. That might be a hearse again. Uh, what can we do with... No, I can't really do very much with you. Uh, <laughs> there's not much... Ch oh, crap. I'm going... <laughs> I am trying to avoid crashes in a banger race. Yes, that's because I like to win. Um, <laughs> to be fair, as I said, I've got a Volvo. We should be able to punch through just about everything here. However, oh, we've got seven, well, six laps to go because we're about to finish this one. And we are only I say, only in 12. We could do with more chaos. We could do with more chaos befooling everyone. Uh, they're going to oh, slide up the inside. I'm going to go for a cutback. Oh, don't force them in the wall because they bounce off it and I get hit in all of that. There is, is that another Volvo? I think it is. Well, what's left of a Volvo? Anyway, come on, please turn, please turn. I spy another hearse to go and try and break apart. Oh, there's been a big crash up here. We're just going to kind of hope that we can get through. We have almost, yes, we have, in fact. <laughs> that was a massive crash. Uh, somebody, I imagine, pinged off the wall, got everyone stuck, and, uh, yeah, it was, uh, use the speed of the tank here, and we will get through the incident, and it has worked. Oh, that's looking, ow, ow, we've been assisted in all of that. I'm trying to, that's a massive mess of cars. Oh, we got stuck a little bit on the, I think that's, I think that's supposed to be the Lexus. Again, there's not much of the initial, original car left, and after this race, yeah, um, However, we're up into fourth place. We're up into fourth. We're not that far away from the leader. A Volvo has had a big bounce on the outside. Hearse! Sorry, it had to be... Oh, I've, I've, karma has got me. It had to be done. There was a hearse to crash into. I was trying to make it disintegrate. Um, we've, we've moved up a place in trying to disintegrate the hearse because we're now in third, although the silver Volvo got going again and got out of that mess. Um, there's not much going on in the sort of uh, latter half of this, of this lap at the moment. Everything is happening at turn one. It's, in fact, we've blocked the entire road now with cars at turn one. Ugh. Um, I should have kept going. I think I would have been better off just trying to punch through that than trying to get on the brakes and avoid it. Oh, and you're going to go in the fence and I'm going to get stuck and there's more crashes going on. Find a gear. Come on. There's a there's a movement gear in there somewhere. There we go. A movement gear in the right direction. Ah, I found the grey, what I think is a Lexus. Uh, there. <laughs> There's not much Lexus left in that one. See, the Volvo is remarkably Volvo-esque still. Look at it. 
it's uh, you can still see that it is a it, it is a Volvo. Uh, I think the leader's somewhere in that lot. Oh, that's a solid that's a solid thing, and I'm not sure. Oh, I'm going to get out of there. Fantastic. Um, we are still moving. We are still moving in all of this, and that I think is going to put us up into the lead. The front of my car is still okay. There are a few vehicles that have gone out. Uh, we're coming towards the end of the race, and I think everything is now just blocked up. <laughs> is this how banger racing goes? I've, I've not really watched very much of it, so I don't know. Is this, is this normal? Is just everyone end up in a cluster in the corner? That's going to have really hurt that Volvo. Uh, again, mine is still, apart from the front left being quite locked up, uh, mine is still driving pretty, pretty well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is quite good fun. This is quite good fun indeed. It's a different sort of racing on here. Whoa, we've got a lot of oversteer. We've lost control of the back end. Into the mayhem we go. And yeah, I'd say we survived remarkably. I didn't get fastest lap. Disappointing. I think I spent too long pratting around and crashing into stuff. However, we will claim a second victory. And we, there was a very, very big mess. Also, I love how there are four Volvos in the top five. Yes, the 240 estate is the car to go for. Well, having decided the Volvo is fantastic, we're going to stick with our theme of going for estate cars. There are a lot of options, but we're going to go for the world's most hideous, hideous estate car. Thankfully, without the front bumper, so it's now not quite as hideous. Um, apparently, it has got a higher higher performance rating than that of the Volvo, so potentially a little bit faster. In fact, I should point out, I forgot to go, and, and I don't actually show this off very often because I don't actually think about the parts. Uh, there is a fair amount of parts added on with this as well. Uh, under under engines, for example, you've got all sorts of different specs of the, the Ford engines, all sorts of different ones. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they can't seem to be swapped between cars, which is a little bit of a shame, so you can't go and put, you know, the Chevrolet 7 litre V8 into the Ford crappy estate that I have at the moment, or in the hearse, for example. However, uh, I'll put a lawnmower <laughs> in the hearse. Um, but uh, yeah, there is a lot of parts, a lot of parts added to this. In fact, I don't know how much sort of things, are there sort of custom upgradable exhaust? No, I don't think, I don't think there is particularly suspension wise. Yeah, there is sort of some, some options as well. So yeah, if you want to tinker around with your cars, I tend to just run them as they come. But uh, if you do want to tinker around with the cars, then you uh, you can, and there is plenty to, uh, to go for. Shall we go? That is, that is a uh, distinctive, distinctive paint job. Yes, we shall take that, and then we shall go to, um, let's go to here. Sure, we'll we'll go we'll go Stand Lake Arena. Once again, we have ten laps to survive. I can see my car. I am mid midfield. I'll be honest, starting position doesn't seem to matter a huge, huge amount. Actually, I'm a little bit higher up than midfield. Um, yeah, oh, this is a really tiny oval. Uh, starting position uh, will very quickly become obsolete as soon as the first crash happens. It's then who can get through at the first the first crash. Better. Ooh, there goes my door. So I say my door, it's slightly now, it's now slightly bent up. Push the thing. I think that's, whoa, the front of that is not at the condition it was normal. Oh, why, do I, why am I going for wall slams? Wall slams is never a good option. Wall slams is never a good option in in this. Cars just slightly ping off the crash barriers. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'd rather spin and get myself clear of that. I don't want to make a roadblock. We're being plummeted down the order. I guess that serves me right for trying to bully a car into a wall. Uh, right, the hearse can find its way into the wall on its own. Uh, no real assistance. For I really want to to completely try and see how much damage I can do to those hearses because it looks like they can actually fall apart quite a lot. Um, we will have to wait. To be fair, we're going to go to Crash Alley next. We know what's going to happen at Crash Alley. So, <laughs> yeah, we might see. We might see then. Uh, considering this is a very tiny oval, I think. Oh no, 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 no! I've done a stupid thing completely on my own. Yeah, considering this is perhaps the shortest of the short ovals, I'm, I'm surprised. As I say, it's the narrowest. I'm not sure if it actually is, but certainly be easy to get caught up on the scenery. I am surprised we haven't had a big roadblock yet, considering the Sheffield Arena was a relatively, relatively large track in, you know, in comparison, and that got massive, massive problems that weren't actually caused by me. We're having to 16th. We need to do more. We need to do a lot more. Uh, in fact, the AIs are not particularly, uh, the AIs are not particularly crashing into stuff, which means that I'm having to drive sensibly. Otherwise, I'm just going to fall to the back. Oh, there's a tire bundle. Oh, they're, they're, they've learned. They've learned not to crash into one another. We might have to go for a little bit. Okay, we're going to have to go. I say cheaty tactics, banger racing. Um, 
We might have to go try and cause some chaos, because otherwise we're not going to be able to get up through the order. We need to spin a car and make a roadblock. Unfortunately, yeah, while it feels quite narrow in the corners, sort of here with the tyre bundles, oh, it might be me that makes the roadblock um, on the back straights where everything gets sort of a little bit blocked up. It's... Uh, well, it doesn't happen because it is wide enough for the AIs to behave themselves. Oh crap, we've got to go for some. Oh, we're going very, very sideways in this Ford. We've got to go. Okay, we've got to go for some new tactics. New tactics are occurring here. We'll try and make a roadblock. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, okay, we have we have made a roadblock. We have made it. Got to keep it going though. Keep the roadblock going. Yes, put the hearse in the tire bundle. Don't put me in the tire bundle though. Good. Good! Things have things have been effective, although I think we've run out of time. I think I needed to do that earlier. Uh, <laughs> quite frankly, because that's third up ahead, and they're going to finish the race. In fact, they got going again quite quickly. Damn it, it was worth a try. I might make up some positions in all of this. Having lost a bunch, making the mayhem, I might now be able to make some up. But uh, come on, sneak up the inside, sneak up the inside. Oh, big slides, too much slides, too much slides. We're going to finish uh, 14th. Bugger it. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn. I, I tried being cheaty. Where, were the, where was the highest place? Volvo. Were there any Volvos? Oh, there's one down in um, 22nd place. For uh, Am I the highest Ford Scorpio, though? That is the question. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, there is uh, one up in third. Bugger. Seeing as there are so many cars to look at, we will do our final race with... I'm thinking we'll go for the Mercedes. We haven't seen the Mercedes yet, I don't think so let's go and grab that one right that is oh, that's actually even lower it's the lowest performance of all of the cars that we have had so far it's got 353 horsepower it does not to 60 in 3.6 seconds that um i'm not sure that that's quite how that would work i'm, I'm gonna be, i know it's very light because everything is stripped out of it and it has a decent engine but um eh, sure um, we're gonna go and take it to the most challenging, the most daunting of circuits ever. And that is Crash Alley. We'll see if, it, if these can survive, survive here. Right, I haven't seen my Mercedes on the flyby so far, which means we are, yep, yeah, we are well and truly buried in the pack. It is, uh, oh, no, it's not a good start because someone up ahead has got stuck. We're immediately going to go into the oncoming lane and hope that we can try and make up some positions. Although we're not going to out here. Push the Volvo through the mess. There we go. Get the uh, hearse out of the way as well. This might have the most pushing power of cars I have driven so far, and that is good news indeed. Uh-oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, don't want to get murdered by... I think that yeah, it was a hearse. De definitely don't want to get murdered by that. Um, it'd be very, very ironic. Uh, come on now, can we... Oh, um, this way, this way, this way. I'm trying to get out of the mayhem. Oh, we're stuck. Oh, it's all gone horribly, horribly wrong for my, uh, for my Mercedes. Oh, there's, there is a gear in there eventually. Right, spin it round, find a forward gear. There we go. Okay, we've come out in 11th. Admittedly, we are in 11th. However, that is better than we were on the grid. So, progress has been made. Just not as much progress as I would have liked. The lead is bouncing. Second's bouncing. We're going to murder a hearse. Not quite. Got away with that one. And I do see 10th and 9th place to try and make our way past. Now, the carnage is not going to be happening at this corner. I think the carnage is at the other end of the circuit. In fact, the carnage is all across the middle of the circuit as we're going to find out that is a very very heavy hit on the american car come on keep going out that's a hit on the volvo we know how tough they are uh go this way yeah we're just gonna <laughs> this thing is a beast up oh, there we go volvo i can pretty much put this volvo wherever i want it so yep on your roof there we go <laughs> that was amazing Oh, that was the leader as well. It's got a very big hit. Um, I car might not be about to survive any longer now. That the, the the hit on the Volvo was pretty hefty. The fact the Volvo has now got back past me again, and that shunt there has not helped matters. Hearse! It's a convertible hearse. <laughs> yes, that is what the world needed. A convertible hearse. I, I thought you might be able to do serious damage to them, and it does look like you could take off the entire back end of the car. That's quite cool. Or uh, certainly the roof of the vehicle. This is just a mess. Look at that. That is utter mayhem. And we're going to go round it all and move ourselves up into third. That is perhaps the most overtakes done in a single quarter. Ooh, although my car is now far from far from healthy. There we go. Got it. Eventually. 
the um, yeah, the, the gearboxes on these cars, I mean, let's face it, in a banger racer such as these, they wouldn't have, you know, nice, lovely, pristine condition gearboxes. They are a real fab. You have to click the buttons a good number of times to uh, get get it into the gear that you want it to go on. Realism, perhaps, at times can be a little bit annoying. Once you've sort of figured it out, you will get used to it. You will get used to mashing the button multiple times. Uh, I want to get through a gap, and I don't really want to. I don't really want to crash anymore because my car is very nearly dead. It's belching black smoke. We're going to avoid this. Oh, we're not going to avoid this mayhem because I've got no turning in any way, shape, or form. So yeah, that's a that's a thing. The Mercedes does not have. It wasn't great. In, when it was in pristine condition, let alone uh, this far into the race. Oh no, we're on the bumps, and I was I was steering, trying to avoid that one, and we went straight into somebody else. Well, bugger, we're going to have another try. Uh, <laughs> as is the rule almost with Crash Alley, you've got to have at least two races, and seeing as that first one went so badly wrong, I think it is uh, worth, worthy of a, another attempt for the, for the Mercedes, Again, it's another half-decent start by going in the oncoming lane. And there's no real... Oh, Christ, the steering. There's no real fear in going in that oncoming lane on lap one. It's not going to matter because nobody's going to be coming the other way to get you. Later on, it becomes a very, very big risk. And that is, you know, the fun of Crash Alley. Oh, back suspension is clonking and clonking and not happy with that. Uh, very much like the, the, 40, the 40 Classic, the old Ford Deluxe Coupe that I uh, drove around here relatively recently. That had issues with the back of the car bouncing around on the bumps, and it appears like my Mercedes does as well. If we stick down the middle of the course, yes, the middle of the course is a good option. We're up into sixth place. Uh, not sure second gear is a good option. That doesn't really seem to be working, although we have got, I don't know what it is. What is that? Um, is that the Jaguar? Uh, I think it was to begin with. I'm not sure what it is anymore. Uh, it was once a Jaguar. <laughs> it doesn't really look the part anymore. Uh, we're struggling actually to do much about the leaders. This is, a, I think, a very, very quick car in a straight line, but we're struggling with a lack of handling, although <laughs> if we can just survive long enough, I'm hoping they're going to get caught up in that mess. It is a giant mess going on. Uh, I think... I think maybe the leader has got through it. Certainly some other cars have not. We're up into fifth place now as well. I think it's as cars are kind of understeering coming onto this back straight and, well, the normal racing line down here is collecting them all together at one point. And that just seems to be, well, it's not really surprising either. That seems to be where the crashes are occurring. They have all got themselves free. Oh, my steering. Get, get, reverse. There we go. Find it. And then forwards is somewhere in there. Bugger. All of the hard work has been undone. I'm thinking, though, the, yeah, the Mercedes perhaps not the best of choice cars for a very small, rather tight uh, technical circuit. Push through. No, not push through the mess at all. Uh, there's a reverse in there. There is going to be a gap there, though, if we can get the car forward quick enough. No, 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 no. No, oh, there was a gap there briefly. Right, we have pushed our way through. We have, although, helped out the red car. Second is up ahead, so we have made progress in all of this. Uh, we will try and, when I say we'll bully someone into a wall, no, we've got to be careful. Got to be careful going for going for shunts because nine times out of ten I get screwed over more in all of that. We need the leader to be massively held up, and I think he might be at some point. There's a oh, that's a ghost hearse. I think might be uh, either out of the race or just might have just been reset. To be fair, oh no, oh no, this isn't good. I'm really wedged in here now. There's cars rolling at me, and uh, please, please let the little well, I say little Mercedes. It's not a little Mercedes. Let the giant Mercedes out of the mess, okay? Keep, you can keep everything else in there. You can keep the hearses and, and whatnot. Just let the Mercedes out of that catastrophic mess. Oh, didn't, again, I didn't even mean to go near that car. We're just bouncing on the uh, on the rough stuff and have very little in the way of steering to uh, counter that. We're in better shape than we were last time, though, as we come around on oh, lap number five. That hearse, I think, might be a little bit stuck. Come on, get through this mess up here without too much trouble. There's second place. In fact, there was thirst as well. Oh, uh, there's a massive mayhem going on up here, and I've got no turning to get around it. Come on, grab a reverse, grab a reverse. I think first is in a pink Lexus. Pink, I certainly think it was a pink car of some sort. I didn't really see well enough. Yes, the chaos has assisted me for, well, the first time in, well, since the opening race, really. Normally, the chaos does not assist me. Wow, look at the state of that thing. That is not even a car anymore. That's, uh, <laughs> it has been out of the race for a couple of laps now, and I guess everything that's gone past has hit it, and now it's all sorts of wonky shapes. We may well actually end up winning this race by an entire lap if no one gets free. 
from that uh, mess. I think they have got free now. Yeah, there's certainly some of them are getting free there. There are a lot of cars all broken up in the same place. That is a compact, compact Jaguar if ever I saw one. I just need to get her in a reverse. There's a gear. All right. We'll free them up. We'll get ourselves going forward again. Ah. <sighs> Wasn't quite a plain sailing final lap, that much is for sure. That thing seems to be uh, a little bit broken or stuck on the uh, on the ground there. There is a big old pile of cars going on once more. Punch our way through that gap, and we will take a victory in the Mercedes. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, Crash Alley never fails to uh, to entertain, though I would not recommend the Mercedes. It does not have the, uh, the grip to really be able to... Uh, to make the most of this circuit, shall we say. However, these these two mods for the cards and for the short course ovals are fantastic fun. It is, uh, yeah, plenty of mayhem to be had. I don't even know what started the mayhem. Why is there a hearse already going back? Who knows? Who knows? Something started the mayhem back there. Yeah, is uh, is very, very good fun to go racing with. At times, the AI do get a little bit blocked up in uh, traffic jams, it seems, with these cars in particular. Uh, not quite sure why that is. And they do occasionally get a little bit caught on the walls, but that might just be the, the arm car or whatever behaving peculiarly with them. However, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time... Ouch, that's very painful for that poor car. <laughs> uh, goodbye.